Lesson 3, Series Type, Example 3. Prove by induction that 1 squared plus 1 times factorial 1 plus 2 squared plus 1 times factorial 2 plus 3 squared plus 1 times factorial 3 plus all the way up to n squared plus 1 factorial n is equal to n times n plus 1 factorial for positive integral values of n greater than or equal to 1. Now again we'll start with n equals 1. So for n equals 1, the left hand side is equal to 1 squared plus 1 times factorial 1, and this is just 2. Right hand side is equal to 1 times 2 factorial, which again is equal to 2. Therefore, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Therefore, the statement is true for n is equal to 1. Now we have to prove, or right now we assume, assume the statement is true for n equals k. So just go along and replace all this. So that's 1 squared plus 1 factorial 1 plus 2 squared plus 1 factorial 2 plus all the way along to k squared plus 1 factorial k is equal to k outside of k plus 1 factorial. That's our assumption line. Now prove the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now we need to be careful with this. That is 1 squared plus 1 factorial 1 plus 2 squared plus 1 factorial 2 plus all the way along to k squared plus 1 factorial k plus, this will be k plus 1 squared plus 1 times k plus 1 factorial equals k plus 1 times k plus 2 factorial. Now this is the extra bit Right, now we're going to add this k plus 1 all squared plus 1 k plus 1 factorial to both sides of A. So we're going to get 1 squared plus 1, 1 factorial plus 2 squared plus 1, 2 factorial plus all the way along to k squared plus 1, k factorial. I might do this in a different colour. Plus k plus 1, all squared plus 1 k plus 1 factorial equals k k plus 1 factorial. So there's our assumption line in white. Plus, I'll put it down here, k plus 1 all squared plus 1 k plus 1 factorial. So it is required to prove that 
all this stuff here because now again we've got the left hand side all matching up nicely we prove that this k k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 2 all squared plus 1 k plus 1 factorial is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 2 factorial. Oops, um, that was a bit of a typo there. You might have noticed it yourself. I said it should have been a, a 1 in there. Okay, there's our 1 coming in. That's the trouble with this stuff. You've got to be really, really careful when you're reading it. Now we've got it right, haven't we? So that's that's the correct thing. All right, now, ready to go. Left-hand side. Left-hand side is equal to this k into k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 1 all squared plus 1 k plus 1 factorial. Now you notice I didn't expand that out just so I can focus on, on this factorization to begin with. I mean you could, it wouldn't matter. But I'm going to take out this k plus 1 factorial. And don't worry, you got, well, I need a k plus 2. It'll, it'll work out. It'll work out. So we have k plus 1 factorial outside of k plus k plus 1 all squared plus 1. And now we can remove brackets and play around with the stuff in here. That's going to be k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus 1. And that becomes k plus 1 all factorial times k squared plus 3k plus 2. Doesn't look very good at the moment, does it? But let's have a look. That's equal to k plus 1 factorial. Now factorizing this, we get k plus 2 times k plus 1. Now there's our k plus 1. So that I'll just put that at the front rearrange it a little bit so you can see it better and there's a k plus 2 and a k plus 1 factorial now k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial is k plus 2 factorial which does equal the right hand side of p Right, now I just wrote this line out. So therefore, the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now the statement is true for n equals 1. So by mathematical induction, the statement is true for all integral n greater than or equal to 1.